I have a 42 inch Technica LCD 42-910 and this is a bit of an odd one <laughs> if you look at the bottom of this TV you'll see it's super thin and slimline uh, but if any of you didn't know your manufacturers of TVs this is a Vestel TV here and if you know Technica um, as soon as they started making LED backlit TVs, uh, they stopped using Vestel. So, uh, any LED TV by Technica is not a Vestel built set. But you see, this one's really slimline. I mean, you know, how is it so slimline? It's not an LED set. Well, this is actually an LCD set. It uses fluorescent or, I see, this probably uses uh, extended fluorescent or ECFL uh, backlights. But this is a bit, this is an odd one. I've never seen a 42 inch CCFL backlit TV this slim. I wonder how they actually backlight this, whether or they have the tubes at the bottom here and they have several of them, or if they're along the side or in the back somewhere. I don't know how they do it. I've only ever been seen like 22 inch CFLs or CFL backlit TVs that are this slim line. And of course, I've seen. 50 inch LED TVs that are this slim line but this is not an LED set this is a CFL set but it's like super slim <laughs> uh, anyway it's faulty of course because it's a Vestel <clears throat> I mean it has lasted uh, the date code on that is May 2009 so that's nearly six years I mean about five years now it's only two months off being six years old or a month off. So it's not that bad for a Vestel, I mean come on. You know, this was sold in Tesco's for two hundred pounds. So that's not too bad I suppose, but for a forty two inch super slim TV. And this has a relay inside it as well. I've never <clears throat> the only other Vestel TV I've seen with the relay is a rebadged plasma. Um but this uh, is stuck in standby so and the relay, you can hear the relay clicking on and off when you try to turn it on. So, uh, I suspect we have something wrong on the power supply. <clears throat> but apparently it did used to turn on, but it doesn't any more anymore. But uh, I just decided, they decided to sell it, so I brought it off them. So, uh, we'll take this thing apart. Definitely an odd TV, though. <laughs> got all the caps that I'm going to replace um, this is going to be a bit of a bodge though because I haven't got the values and sizes that this supply uses in stock these are all 470 microfarad 16's these two are 470 16's that's a 100 microfarad 50 volt that's a 10 microfarad 50 volt and these are all 1000 microfarad 35 volts I've got those I've got the 10 microfarad but, and I've got the 100 microfarad but these are uh, 470s I don't so what I'm doing is there's three here all in uh, parallel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all those three with two 1000 microfarad 25 volts so that's the same value and then this I'm replacing with a 1025 or 1025 and all the other 470s with 1025s well a few of them with 470 35s actually and I'm folding them over because you know I can't be bothered to order the caps and it'll work just as well so I'm going to change these out and uh, see what happens so this is what I've come up with <laughs> I've uh, stuck the caps down with some silicon thermal plaster Placed quite a few two one thousands in place of three four seventies. All these four seventies here. So I'm gonna place these a thousands as well. So let's plug this in and give it a test. Right, so here's a test. 
Stand by now before we was getting one relay click and that was it. And I heard two. Staying on. No back right there. Oh. Well, that's so noisy that inverter is. <laughs> It's so cheap. Back all is all up, that's all good. The image actually looks pretty damn normal. Looks just as bright as any other L C D would. But ultra slim. <laughs> Sweet. It's my first time servicing one of these 17 PW ones. They're not too bad, I suppose. Just uh, crap caps on there, and pretty simple to fix. So, uh, I'm going to seal this thing back up now. Okay, so it's the next day, and I've just got this thing propped up, not on the stand. So, let's turn it on. <coughs> Takes a good few seconds for the backlight comes up, though. And this thing actually looks absolutely crap. This is on its maximum brightness right now, and it just looks horrid. And you can't put it on minimum because uh, it makes a horrible buzz noise from the inverter. It doesn't even look bright on this. It's dimmer than this Vest 315 panel here. And the screen also looks pretty splodgy. Like there's light patches on it, but that'll probably go away when the lamps heat up. That's the Vest 315, minimum brightness. The Vest 315 looks a lot brighter in person. But, uh, you know, reinstall this thing and get it set up from factory. Uh, I think set up, installation. Oh, my fault. I'm going to get this installed and then uh, we'll see what happens when it's all set up properly. See what the image is like. Okay, so I finished up this TV and I gave the screen a quick clean because um, some of the dirt on the screen had an effect on it. Um, but even after cleaning it, the image quality still looks pretty crap. It's worse than that Vest 315 uh, LED TV there. Um, this has an LG panel and so does that, but. I think the way that this is backlit, the 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 way the color the color rendition on this TV is absolutely crap. It, you know, it looks all right. I mean, the blues look sort of blue and the reds look, you know, quite red, but they seem washed out because, again, the way this is backlit, those CFL tubes aren't able to light the screen up good enough to be able to get the color rendition correct. I mean, have a look at this blue here. Look. Yeah, if you stand pretty much in front of it, it seems alright, but if you go to the top, the camera's not picking it up that well, but it's all washed out and horrible, so I guess this is why they didn't make uh, slimline, edge-lit CFL uh, TVs in this size, because they don't look that good. They look pretty crap. <laughs> you know, it's a cheap TV, what do you expect? So, well, at least it's working now. Oh. And the sound quality is pretty good as well. <coughs> I always found with these 17 MB35s, the sound is always, you know, quite okay. At 1:45, then at 2:15, Bill Turnbull introduces more contestants to a rather knowledgeable bunch. <coughs> Things like the contrast and stuff, they're okay, but it's just the color rendition which looks just crap. And if you have this thing in a a dark room on a full black screen you can see that the light 
on the screen is not like evenly distributed. You can see where at the top it's brighter where the bulbs are, and then at the bottom uh, it's brighter, but in the middle it sort of goes darker, and you can see that it just looks horrible. Uh, people who are watching this are probably gonna hate on me for saying this, but I think that that Vest 315 panel looks better than this. And that says something, because that's the cheapest of the cheap. But it is what it is, and it's working now at least, so... I could probably get £150 for this. I only spent uh, 40 on it, so it's not too bad. And the parts pretty much were free, you know, a couple of caps. <coughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. The repair of a 17PW01. It's my first time servicing one of those. And uh, I'm sorry if I sound all like, you know, muttery. I've got a cold. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I can see why the capacitors in this set failed as badly as they did. I mean, yeah, they're crappy and cheap ones, I know that, but... This TV dissipates 240 watts, and look how slim it is. There's not much room for ventilation in there. And the power supply is there, and then we have the inverter there, so, you know, that's pretty much 240 watts trying to cool through these little vents here, and this is burning hot. This is almost the temperature of a plasma would be, you know, when it was on for a while. It's uh, pretty crazy. Um, so I guess that's another reason why they didn't make CFL. Slimliner LCDs because they get really hot and fail like this. Um, of course, if they used good caps, this TV probably would be working, but they didn't. But uh, yeah, just a uh, quick something there. So thanks for watching.